Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to talk about the alternatives to going to an art school. So perhaps you're thinking about going to art school, but you're not sure because of perhaps you might be offered a job or you don't have the money, you have financial difficulties or some other kind of situations. So today, I wanna to talk about the alternatives or the, let's say, road less taken to become a fan art professional, uh, maybe without going to an art school. First of all, I want to be clear that there's not like one kind of art school for all. You have uh, art schools that focus on the contemporary art discourse. You have some others focused on studying the art history. And there are some others are just about learning the techniques of painting and sculpting and calligraphy. So it's all different things. And you have to choose the path that you want to take and then be very specific following one program. For example, you like this new school of this and that. So you go to that school, you get in touch with the alumni, the future student, the current student of this school and try to get your hands on a copy of the syllables. And once you have the syllables and let's say the list of courses at least, so that you can fill in the blanks by doing the investigation and the studying yourself. And now you can read books, you can go to internet and you can study for free on YouTube or pay for Skillshare, Udemy, I mean, there are plenty of free and very cheap available courses on the internet that you can study and teach yourself and you can just practice a lot on your own. Eventually you will be able to acquire the same skills that an art student will have. By going to art school, what you're actually doing is you are committing this four, five years of your time to a course or to a course to be more exact in this case, is that you are spending this money and time to be there. And the fact that you spend 20, 40, 50, 60 to hundred thousand dollars in this program, unlikely you have money and time to do something else. So your hands are tied up to this you know, program and you have to be there every day, follow the exercises, interact with your classmates, and you're forced to read all those materials and tick you know, all the boxes in order to graduate. And once you graduate, you have this flashy, you know, very fancy piece of paper that shows that how proud you are and how entitled you are as a fine art graduate. And in fact, what you can do is you can do exactly the same except the diploma issued by the national uh, institutions, you can do everything on your own. You can spend eight hours every single day for four years in your life so that you are committed to this um, self-studying journey. And if you can do that, you will be able to learn and you acquire skills for you know, being a professional artist even better than an art student because you are managing yourself. You're not, not only learning the art skills, you are learning the self-management skills, the discipline, the motivation, and it will make you, let's say, a better artist, a professional artist in the future. And perhaps you're having financial difficulties, you're struggling to pay for the rent, and you cannot just give up eight hours a day for four years. What you can do is, okay, take a part-time job or take a full-time job. Then when you go home, you spend four hours every day for eight years. Do your mathematics, you have to do your hours, you have to do your mileage in order to get all the skills and knowledge that is required to become an artist. And whichever way works for you is that you have to spend your time and spend all this energy in doing your art, there's no shortcut. You have to be there, do it so that you can be one day ready for a fun art career. I know some art studios, uh, they prefer to hire a self-taught artist than an art school graduate because the art school graduates can feel overly entitled. They demand a high pay at the very start and they don't want to do probation and they're very hard to work with in the team because they feel like they're from a better school than the rest of the team and they, they're just in general hard to work with. So I know people would actually prefer a young, self-taught and emerging and motivated artist who can manage themselves very well. and that's very, very valid. I would say it's a very good point. The fact that if you can manage yourself and acquire other skills on your own, you will be even more guaranteed to have a successful life in the future than someone who were, let's say, received the passive education uh, in a school. 
And you may say, how about networks? I heard some art students going to art schools just for the networks, for the doors open you know, in the future for their career. If you are going to a school for the network, then go to a business school. Because if you go to business school, your future classmates will be the future CEOs of unicorn, multimillionaire, and you know, they will be, uh, let's say, the elites of the society, leaders of the future, why not? If you really wanted a network, go to law school, business school, go to whatever school. I mean, art school is not the only school that offers good networks. And if you don't go to school, you can also have an excellent network by building your own network from home. Yes, you can build your network from anywhere in the world. There is a thing called the internet. You can just run your own social media, become your own brand, market yourself, market your art, and be extremely social and outgoing online so that you can be the next PewDiePie. I don't even know how to pronounce this name. And if you have your own social media account and you reach millions of people, then you are not just constrained to one network of one school. You can have access to a lot of networks and they can financially and emotionally support you. And it's a great thing to have and nobody can take that away from you. If you have your own brand and you have your own social media and you have like your own personage on the internet. No matter if you choose to go to art school or not, think like this. Going to art school is like buying a fancy car. This fancy car can open many doors for you, can make you look good, can bring you to different places, but it's not for free and there are a lot of maintenance as well. Instead of buying this fancy car, you can always choose to walk the old fashioned way, put one foot in front of another so that you can go anywhere in the world and there's no one can stop you. You can reach the mountain Everest if you want with your own power, it just takes more time. But on the upside, you will see different scenery, you will acquire different experience, that will make you wiser, stronger, and will give you, let's say, more dips in your life and eventually make you a better artist, more interesting human being. And that's the alternatives to studying at the art school, which is more passively receiving the knowledge, like imagine like little birdies and being fed by the mother bird. So it's a totally different way to learn, but it's okay. Either way, you can reach the goal that you want is to become a professional artist in whichever way that works for you. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.